Hello YouTubers, well, wasn't going to really do a vlog on this journey, um, but after this new experience I've had, um, I felt the need to talk about it. Um, being a relatively new biker from a full-time biking perspective, commuting, ride outs etc etc um, on any of the other bikes that I'd had I had breakdowns but nothing nothing uh, to the point of where it threw me off the bike or anything like that um, but yeah tonight after work I left half an hour early so that I could get up to uh, Grimsby, so it was a nice little trek over the lovely Humber Bridge down the A180 um, down the A180 and then back again effectively um, so yeah so I went down the A180, did what I needed to do, dropped off some stuff, um, and I'm going to be overtaken by a 125, I love it. Um, dropped off the stuff that I needed to drop off, and then on the way back, doing around the speed limit of 70 miles an hour on the dual carriageway um, travelling from that shit place that is Grimsby um, yeah got a fantastic gigantic hole in my back tyre so one minute I'm riding along everything's fine the next minute the back end is all over the place and I mean all over the place, to the point where I thought I was riding on ice. Um, never had a tyre blow out on me whilst riding. Um, it was literally one minute it was there, the next minute it was just empty. Um, on sports tyres as well, so there's no structures of the tyre to support me. Um, on a road where it's just immense. Every people don't really take any notice of any speed limits on that road, they're just idiots. But given it's as close to Grimsby as it is, maybe that's what it is. And I know I'm going to get some haters for saying that, but I now hate Grimsby because of what's happened. So, hey, hey don't really care. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd share the experience really with, uh, with you. RAC a call. They came, they put a plug in the back in the tyre, reinflated it for me. Use your mirrors, mate. Um, yeah, put a plug in the tyre, uh, reinflated it for me so I can get home. Um, be interested to find out from a few people. The rubber plugs that you can put in where you sort of rough, get, make the hole even, um, stick some solvent on it and put the piece of rubber inside um, and then chop it off or chop the excess off. We're interested to find out how many people have used them before. How many people have used them before um, and how long they last. Um, it proceeded to tell me that I could do, I should only do 50 miles an hour on it, 
um, but he's done 130, 140 on one and it's all been good. Um, yeah, he told me to change it as soon as possible, um, but he'd ridden 800 miles from France on one, doing those types of speeds, all a load of times. Um, and he didn't have any issue, but he was saying that he had to tell me not to go above 50 and to do this and do that. Um, the tyre's only three months old, um, so I'm a bit pissed off. Um, but I suppose that's the joys of uh, being on a motorbike. I seem to go through tyres a lot more. Um, not just from wear and tear, but also from freaking shit on the roads. Uh, but yeah, someone had just gone in the tyre, punched the tyre and just got blown straight back out. So, hey who? Obviously at those speeds with hot tyres. Wasn't impressive, I'll tell you that. My, uh, my little sphincter was probably going as much as the hole in the tyre was. There's nowhere to go, there's no freaking hard shoulder because they can't afford one in Grimsby. So yeah, even the uh, roadside markers when I was trying to give the RAC codes. <laughs> um, I did find it quite funny that they said that those markers didn't exist. Um, so yeah, interesting. Funny. Now that I'm thinking about it, now I'm not stuck at the side of the road. Um, at least I've not been caught in the rain, I'm just about home now. But yeah, an experience, learning experience, at least I now know exactly how it feels when you try to ride a bike at 80 miles an hour with no uh, friggin' air in it. Um, yeah. Not one I'd like to repeat soon. Well, uh, I am pretty glad that the uh, the tyre that went was the back one and not the front one. 